So you can just close this down and then we're going to go on to the second part. So the second part is taking your stitch folders and drag them to your Google Drive and upload them all, which I've done. And uh, you can go to your Google Photo Editor here. You can see that there's something wrong here. Ingestion is currently delayed, so but let's just try it anyway. Create. It's a test one, so we'll just do um, test stitch. Stitch. There we go. Uh, next, we'll just skip the. Um, no, hold on. I don't want this. Need help? No. Skip. Sorry. A Pano photo album. So it's this one and they're pre-stitched. Make sure you check that pre-stitched and then go next. And that's all of them will be ingested. Uh, next. Submit. Okay. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, maybe. Processing initial stage. This is kind of worrying at the top here, but uh, we'll just let it go and we'll see how long it takes. It's uh, 1244 now, and we'll get back to that later. I don't think the Pano editor is going to cooperate today. Um, ingestion is currently delayed. But just for fun, I did upload this, um, another one. I'm not sure if it's the same image. No, it's from a different shoot, but this is a stitched image. If you look around, it's what it does at the floor is around that black nadir area. It will fill it in. So even though it's blacked in the black in the stitched panoramas at the bottom here, it's uh, black. It will fill it in. Uh, once it's uploaded to the the editor there. So don't worry about the black part. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, I actually want to fill it in. Uh, you can take the stitched image and fill it in with something if, if you wish. And a lot of people do do that. So what I can show you just for fun is um, what you need to do. So what you would do is, is take it into Photoshop. But before you take it into Photoshop, we're going to do, I'll show you what we do here. New. Make sure that's checked. Uh, there we go. Straighten it up. Um, what we want to do here is use, we're going to export this as a TIFF because we're going to take it into Photoshop. We don't want to lose a whole bunch of quality. So uh, we start, you're going to have a few extra steps now, which can take a lot longer. Now, depending on the client, if the client, but if it's just a standard client, just um, you can leave the nadir not filled. But this is how you would go about, or not you, but this is my process on how to fill the nadir. So go to tools, numerical transform, and we're going to do the pitch negative 90. And that shows us the nadir in the middle here. So that's what we want. And we're going to, uh, I'll just create the panorama just for this one. And we're going to change this to a TIFF, no compression, set optimum size. So we're going to, well, I'll just put it there. So create panorama. I'll put it in our stitched one. You might want to call a different folder like stitched square or something like that. That's what I usually do. Because now we have a, a TIFF file with a hole in the middle. This is much easier to fix with um, than something along the bottom that's all stretched out. So we can take this into Photoshop. Opened up over there. Okay. Uh, sort of get closer to this. Now, I don't know what kind of technique you use, <laughs> you may use to do this, but uh, for me, well, just in case I make a mistake, oops, I like to duplicate the layer. 
just so I have a backup. Uh, you could basically just sort of take a piece from over here or something like that, copy it and paste it and drag it on top or something. Uh, you know, maybe stretch it out a bit in case you made a boo-boo like I did. Uh, like that. Uh, that's one option. There's other options like using the uh, clone stamp tool. Let's see. Let's get it on the copy. Set the size to something more reasonable. You know, just to give a more textured feel. It's totally up to you. Um, but anyway, once you've decided which way you're going to use, either the copying and pasting or the uh, clone stamp tool, you're just going to save this. Just save it. You can save it right on top of the same one. Uh, we don't need the layers. Anyway, I'm not going to matter too much. Okay, so now that, that that's fixed, you can even fix your shadow if you had a shadow of your tripod or something like that for outdoor shots. It's always nice uh, to have that fixed as well. Uh, we can close Photoshop now. This is labor intensive, by the way. So we have our TIFF that's uh, sort of fixed. We'll create a new file. Don't save this one. And bring this in back into PT GUI, Project Assistant. Choose equi rectangular panorama. Uh, use the EXIF data or just change this to 360. Uh, if we look at the tools here, the panorama editor, you can see that it's like this now. Well, we're going to do the other tool, numerical transform. Do plus 90 and apply. And then we're back to where we started. Uh, also, make sure you're, you've sort of reset all this stuff to zero. Just reset all your settings, maybe get rid of HDR. We don't want to re-HDR this thing. Um, no exposure compensation, no nothing. Just bring everything back to uh, uh, neutral settings. Uh, where else? Project settings, you know, just reset default. Create the panorama. Uh, now we can set it to our final uh, settings here, JPEG at 90, uh, blended panorama, that should be it. So create the panorama. Let's see if it went in here. It's going into stitched pano pano. Okay, it's this one here. So now you see that we have the bottom uh, clean and we didn't adjust any of the, the other settings that uh, would affect it. So if we compare it to the other pre-stitched one, I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's slightly different because we moved it around, but you can see the quality is, is uh, very, very similar. Using the TIFF, we don't degrade the image at all. We keep, uh, uh, it won't go. It won't be compressed as if we as if we did it as, with a JPEG. So there we go. So those are all ready to upload. Then, if you wanted to correct your Nadir for uh, for your tour, like I said, it's very labor intensive. So that's my way of doing it. If the client requests it, but uh, you don't have to do it that way.